first because this is the first time I've known my place as a black man's wife. Mm. And there's a place. And we get so caught up in that word. What you mean your place? What you mean? Without him saying it, his actions showed me that he was the leader of that household. Without him saying it, I knew I was dealing with a king. And he doesn't have to constantly remind you of it. He, he never. He's never. When we first got together, I sat at the head of that table. Comfortably. There was never a conversation about it. So one day I knew I was in the wrong place. Wow. And I moved to the side of the table. And he sat at the head. It was not his words. It was his actions that let me know that I was dealing with a king. It was his actions that let me know that he could lead our household. This man came into her life and without ever having a discussion, ever having to beat his chest, ever having to belittle or demean or demand respect, his actions made her desire to sit at the side of the table. His actions, his masculinity, the fact that this man was a king and he showed it, made her want to be in her place. When we fight against nature as women and we try to be controlling and we try to be the heads, it takes us out of the natural order. That's why we be angry. That's why we'd be upset and frustrated and overwhelmed. That's why you get the neck rolling energy. We operating outside of what we're supposed to be. We are out of place. But men, I need you to hear me. We do not want to be the leader. We want to feel safe. We want to know that we can trust you. We want to see it. We don't want to hear it. We want to see it. We want to see it consistently. To the point to where even if you allowed us to sit at the table, the head of the table, we feel so uncomfortable being at a place that without even a discussion, we're happy to move to the side. But understand that that type of respect and honor is earned. It is not demanded. 